I'm bored. This school board is boring. This level is boring. I wish we had a better school board now. We do. And how do we know that, eh? Follow me. Change into odd sock if you must. Come on, it's all the, just all the way over there. <laughs> Here <laughs> it is. The custom scoreboard of custom mallet. Uh, Does this work? Yep. This oh. this is the little big planet three method for custom scoreboards. Yep. Screens. If you want a cust if you want to make objects the actual scoreboard, I'll do a video on that. Hey, well, so first talking of videos, you forgot to say hey YouTube. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey Hello. YouTube! Hello YouTube, what is up? What is up? When did that come in? Two hours ago. Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you how to make a custom scoreboard. First of all, you start with this bland, boring scoreboard which everybody hates. Not everybody hates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a few people hate. I know, well, I, like, then, well, I like to exaggerate. Yeah, okay. <laughs> then just get a piece of basic rubber. I'll recycle this one. Yes. And then. S and then just place it. Make sure it's. Make sure it's the. Oops. Uh, length of the scoreboard screen. So it should cover it like this. Yeah. See. And then, get out a physics tweaker from your. Tools bag. Tweak it so that the collisions are off. You don't need to change its weight or anything. Hmm, interesting. And all you have to do is merge with it. Yeah, but when you merge with it, you can see it does that. So, in order to fix that, get out... Well, you don't need to place... I mean, get out a microchip. Now, I might, like, so... Uh, where is it? Here it is. I have mine. This one's already done for me. You just want to uh, have a get knock. a knot gate. A like knot gate, which will activate a timer, and then you can move in between lanes. Uh, I mean, make sure that it hasn't gone inverted output. It'll be stupid of you if you haven't got an in inverted output. Why is this time hasn't started yet? Because it's turning the timer off and uh you'll see just tweak the timer make sh and uh make the target time 16 or 17 doesn't matter i i just set it to 17 inverted output it doesn't matter but the thing with inverted output on the timer is that yeah. Your layers start from the 16th layer. Lol. It's so, which is why it's better to invert the output. So yep. we can end up with something that looks like this. Yep. If you like working from the back to the front, then invert. Uh, then don't invert. Otherwise, invert it. Yeah. I like to work front to back, not back to front. front. Well, well, both ways you must be topsy-turvy. And then get exactly. out an advanced in-out mover. Set its maximum speed to something speedy. What's up? Yeah. Without pushing, you don't need to change the maximum weight that can be pushed. Front layer, one. Back, back layer. Back layer, 17. Movement type, positional, visible. and It doesn't matter about this. Because it's placed in a microchip. Plus, you'll delete all the logic later. And then, inside it, place an anti-gravity tweaker. I like to set the damping to 100%. Whenever I use it. <coughs> Stupid camera. <laughs> I've only got one seed. I've I only got one game to hold it in place. Are you sure it's a game? It looks more like a DVD. Yeah, DVD. Whatever it is. And then, oops. And then, set the timer's custom time, current time, sorry, 
to whatever looks good. I like I set it to three. And it go. should look like this. Yep. And glue it together. But you can't glue it together with the poppet, otherwise it just snaps back to the closest layer possible. You need to get out the advanced glue tool, select the rubber, and, and select then glue the scoreboard. The scoreboard. And there you go, lads. You have now a glue of a scoreboard. Okay, close it so now close it so people don't notice. Get off of it a sec. I need to show something else. What will that be? You can capture the scoreboard, but the little note to keep in mind is that when you get it out, it could take a while. When you get it out, the screen won't show. So in order to do that, and oops. without killing yourself, don't be such a complete stupid. You just want to get out the poppet cursor, detach, and then the scoreboard will show like that. If the scoreboard was in this layer, just uh, tweak it so that this. Yeah. And then use the advanced glue to like you, glue tool like you Hold did on. earlier. And then just. 8.4 looks good. And then just use, use the advanced glue tool. Yep, and then just do it. And then, if you want to, you can delete the logic. There you go. You have your own scoreboard. And it didn't take long. But because of us, it took seven minutes. But for you, it shouldn't take too long. Look. I deleted the entrance. Where are we going to enter from now then? Here. Flame. This is what it looks like. Who the heck is Flip Face One? He's someone. Yeah. He's my friend. Okay. He also plays Little Big Planet. It's a pro tip. But he hasn't got LBP3 yet. Ha, ha, ha. Come on, onto the scoreboard. See, works almost <laughs> like a normal scoreboard. Except you can't see anything. When you publish it, it'll actually look better. Oh, okay. Anyway, so uh, I hope you enjoyed we have now the uh, tip. I don't know whether it's a glitch or a tip. I'm sure, it, I'm sure it would have been a glitch, otherwise we wouldn't be showing you on this channel. But I, but I have a tutorial on this channel. Oh, And yeah. I may do a tip. So is it a glitch or a tip? tip. Stop typing on the score. I mean keyboard. <laughs> so is it a glitch or a tip? Hello. Hmm? Okay, okay, everybody. That was that was the tip man. Except for one, two, three, four, as always. And now we have got to go. Thank you for watching. Please like, uh, subscribe, and whatever. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hold on, wait. Don't do it yet. We want to walk on the scoreboard for the grand finale. Bye, see you, bye, bye, bye.